Welcome in the name of the Lord. I really appreciate that we are together. We've already shared you are not a comma part one, you are not a comma part two. Now we are in part three. I'm Bishop Peter Gatimo, a uh, servant of God, the living God. I love Jesus. And we are reaching out from, from reach out to you from Apostolic Faith Church in Bahat Nairobi. Receive your healing. Receive the peace of God. May the blood of Christ cover everything outside you and inside you. And any business that you have, I put the mark of the blood of Christ. I pray that you experience a Passover. Yes, whenever things come, evil comes, let them see the blood of Christ on your doorpost, on your business, on your children, they pass over. I declare peace and cover. Yes, today is, you are not a comma, part three. Let's go now to 2 Kings chapter 2. Uh, 2 Kings chapter 2. Oh, yes. Now, the Bible says something. That is 2 Kings chapter 2. It came to pass when the Lord was about to take up Elijah into heaven by who with that Elijah went to with Elisha from Gilgal. Then Elijah said to Elisha, Stay here, please, for the Lord has sent me on to Bethel. But Elisha said, As the Lord lives, and as your soul lives, I will not leave you. So that, so they went down to Bethel. Now the sons of the prophets who were at Bethel came out to Elisha and said to him, Do you know that the Lord will take away your master from over you today? And he said, yes, I know. Keep silent. Then Elijah said to him, Elisha, stay here, please, for the Lord has sent me on to, to Jericho. But he said, as, as the Lord lives, and as you, your soul lives, I will not leave you. So they came to Jericho. There's one thing that God wants to, to make sure that you discover and discover. Remember the topic is, you are an overcomer. There is what we call the anointing by impartation. Anointing by impartation. Now, Elijah, and God is using that so much. Anointing that you experience by being there and pers pursuing the real flow. Look at now Elijah. Elijah previously had prayed. And God brought him to Mount Holeb and said, Now go and anoint Hazael to lead Syria, Jehu to take Israel, but go and anoint Elisha to take your office. And you know he touched Elisha with his mantle. And Elisha discovered, surely, one day, and from today, I will inherit what this man has in double, double way. The touch implied or confirmed. You are going to inherit me twice. So Elisha stopped all the business, followed Elijah, and in pursuit of the double portion, look at how things are. Elijah was to be taken away. And I suspect Elijah as a senior um, prophet and a friend of God thought being taken to heaven in that weed. It could be a private thing between him and God. Where he has nothing to do with a junior young pro person like Elisha. It seems like Elijah did not know exactly when the double portion impartation in your car. But the, but the truth is, Elisha had to follow Elijah. Look at the two statements. When Elijah came, Elijah came to Elisha, Elijah, this is what Elijah said. Stay here. They met in Gilgal. Stay in Gilgal. For the Lord has sent me on to Bethel. This statement could be in you. Stay. Stay here. It's true, the true prophets. The move of God has taken a direction. The move of blessing has taken a direction. 
but there's a spirit that pulls you down, saying, stay here. It could be a unique heaviness. It could be resonance of a kite. It could be a feeling of a kite. It could be social entanglement, the people you, 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 you network with. Something that is telling the youth, telling women, sick goes and married. Men, stay here. Stay here. It could be a feeling of inadequacy. You don't feel like you are adequate. You don't feel. If I some people who are taking drugs, misuse of drugs, what the drugs do in you, they destroy the true social network. The network that gives value. You can't network or socialize with meaningful people. You want people who, have, who are just soft, people who just feel things, who never reason. Yes, stay here. It could be a demon. Stay here. Whereby you, where God is taking people in this season, you are not involved. You have a feeling or an attack of stay here. And I want to tell you now you are an overcomer because you are overcoming the spirit of stay here. I say any demonic influence, any evil influence, any slavery that is destroying your social mobility, I command it to cease now. If you are connected with young people or young girls who are hampering, who are actually ruining your life and are denying you chance for your gift, denying you chance for your prosperity, denying you chance for your mobility in life, I want to command you, leave them now. I say leave them now. Leave them now. Tell them uh, the God of Israel, the God who made my soul, has commanded me to take a move. I should move the direction where God is blessing his people. And that's why Elijah said, now gentlemen, stay here. God has sent me to, to, to Bethel. And of course, uh, what happened, uh, when he says, stay here, God has sent me to Bethel. And uh, Elisha said, no, as the Lord lives, I'm not staying here. I'll follow you. The second statement is not Elijah himself. Our fellow brethren, people closer to you, even good people who feel like you are not understanding. If you check now the sons of prophets, this is what they say to Elisha. Don't you know that God is soon taking Elijah to heaven? That was good, but the application. There are people who take prophecy and they add an application, personal feeling, personal opinion on the prophecy. Watch out those people. Because it is true, Elijah is to be taken. But whatever they are adding on that, they are saying, no, you are foolish. Don't follow him. Because it is him who will go to heaven. When God raises him to heaven, what do you, you inherit? And now Elisha say, be silent. Keep quiet. One thing you don't have to negotiate with those people. You don't have to give them facts. They cannot comprehend. They were not there when God spoke. They were not there when Elijah touched with the mantle. They were not there. All what they know is that he's being taken away. But they do not know the deeper things of the kingdom, the deeper personal things that God has spoken about you. They don't know. Watch out. If God has spoken about you, watch out the difference between what the public know and what you know on a very personal level as a friend of God what you know. Because that's very important. Elijah followed. Elijah followed. Elijah said now at Bethel, stay here. I proceeded to Jericho. He said, no way, I'm following you. They went. You know what happened? They reached a point where Elijah asked Elijah, what do you want exactly? I want you to push things until even if uh, the millionaires deny that you are Part of me. They don't want to accept they can be a millionaire. They think they are millionaire as a club. Tell them I'm a millionaire by right. I'm a millionaire by God's provision. There are people who think 
The only people who can own better cars are people in a certain status and a certain uh, area of, of life. Can you introduce yourself as a new person in a new area where no one expected somebody like you to be there? You are driving a car that no one expected you to drive. You are preaching, you are mighty prophet. No one expected you to be such a prophet. Oh, I tell you, you are now becoming great in an environment where nobody expected you. That's why now Elisha said to Elijah, you want to know, you want to know what, why I'm following you as I want double portion of this prophetic anointing. And I just said, if you be there when I'm taken, you take it, you receive it. Listen, if you be there when I'm taken, you receive it. If you not be there, you not receive it. Can you imagine the same mouth that was telling Elisha, be left behind, admitted the faith of Elisha, and admitted the methodology of God for impartation. I want you to push things until the agenda, the real message of God in your heart, opens way for you. Finally, Elisha received the double portion. And all people who never expected him to have it, admitted that now the power of Elijah is upon Elisha. I say today by the grace of God, there are two voices to overcome because you are an overcomer. The sound that says, stay here. Overcome it. Because you must pursue. Because the Bible says, if you be there, you receive it. There are things that will never be sent. You receive them if you be there. Secondary, overcome the voices of people. There are good people around you who tell you, don't you know? Don't you know? People who have a gap, they can't, they don't have details concerning you. The details that God gave, they don't know. So they, they are adding their own opinion on your life. Please, don't argue with them. Don't defy your mouth. Tell them, keep quiet. But the Bible says, make the highway for God. And God will make sure every mountain is made low. Every valley is lifted. Every crooked path is made, is made straight. Every rough place is made smooth. And behold, the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. And all people will see it. Let me tell you, pursue what God told you. You may be misunderstood now. You may be seen to be inadequate. But the God of prophecy will soon clothe you and people will admit that surely God has called you. You are an overcomer. Receive courage to go on. I say receive courage to pursue the voice. Receive courage to keep the original prophecy. Receive courage to, fall, to continue on. Because if you be there, you will receive. God bless. God keep you.